Hey everyone, welcome back to Two Lives Only, CBO Wellness. My name is Allie, and today I'm going to be talking about how to apologize. So, we are all human, we all make mistakes, we all do things that we regret, and I think it's natural and normal for us to apologize. People generally, I mean, if you care about the person who you've hurt or you um, are aware of your actions and you're being self-aware. It's really easy to be like, you know what, shit, I messed up, I'm sorry, and apologize for it. Um, however, sometimes when we actually deliver the apology, we don't do it in a way that makes the other person feel heard and in a way that's going to hold us accountable. And that's where, you know, we might be saying, hey, I'm sorry, or we might be in a disagreement with like a partner or a friend and we're saying, I'm sorry, or no, I didn't mean to do that, or it's not a big deal, and it's not landing with them and it causes further tension to build. And I find that's often the case when we're not apologizing correctly or not apologizing as well as we could be. I've totally done this before myself. It's something I've had to like learn and work on in my apologies because for me, for a long time, if I did something that hurt someone's feelings and it wasn't intentional, like I wasn't intentionally trying to hurt someone's feelings, I'd be like, oh no, 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 like I'm sorry, that wasn't my intention. This is what I was trying to do. And unfortunately, when we don't acknowledge our actions, even if it wasn't our intent, like if we don't acknowledge what we actually did, the apology and saying I'm sorry doesn't really feel like an apology to that person and instead they just feel like we're making excuses. So for anybody who you know might be struggling with apologies or wants to get better at apologizing and making sure that the people who they're apologizing to feel heard, I recommend following these tips. Okay so step one is to take accountability. So obviously when we hurt someone and they've expressed to us like hey you've hurt me here like this was really upsetting to me, oftentimes we can go into like defense and because we don't want to hurt the people that we love, right? We, we know we would never want them to think that we would hurt them. But instead, we have to kind of take a step back from our egos and be like, okay, this person who I love and care about is trusting me enough to express to me like, hey, like you hurt me here. And we want to consider that like this person cares about our relationship enough. They care about, you know, sustaining this relationship that they're actually coming to me and expressing their concern instead of, you know, ignoring me or um, brushing it aside and holding resentment later on. Like this person is coming to you because they care about the relationship and they want you to know, hey, this bothered me and like, I want to discuss it with you because I want this relationship to grow from here. So that's what kind of helps ground me whenever someone expresses something to me that might feel uncomfortable or that I might feel like I want to get defensive about because I don't want to come off as like a bad person or someone who would cause hurt is saying like, wow, like this person's coming to me with a concern because they trust me enough that they think I can handle this and also because they care about this relationship. So the first thing that you can do is take accountability and acknowledge what that person has said. So even if right away you might not wrap your head around like what you did as being wrong or hurtful, or you might have an excuse or like some sort of justification for it, just take accountability and repeat back to them what they said. So if someone said, you know, it really bothered me that you made that comment at dinner in front of our friends. Instead of just saying, oh, you know, I was just joking, or I was just trying to lighten the mood, or this. Say to them, I'm deeply sorry that I made that comment and it hurt you. Acknowledge it and say, like, thank you so much for, for expressing to me that that was a hurtful comment and that it made you feel uncomfortable at dinner. I am really sorry about that. I shouldn't have said that. I didn't realize that that was going to land that way, and that was my bad, and I take accountability for that, and I should not have said that, and I'm deeply sorry. So once you've kind of like taken accountability, like, yep, I said that thing that was hurtful and I shouldn't have, you should try to also then express some sort of remorse. So being like, wow, like if I could go back in time knowing what I know now, I would not have said that. That was not okay for me to do and I wish I could take that back. Um, and I feel really, really bad that I've inflicted this pain on you by making that statement. Then the third thing is to try to right the wrong. So you could say to the person, you know, going forward at any other dinner party, I'll never make that comment again. Or, you know, do you want me to call the other members who are at the dinner and explain to them what I said was, you know, not okay or that I didn't mean it that way and correct what my statement was. Uh, depending on the situation, like 
sometimes you can't, you know, change anything or take things back. But as long as you're like deeply expressing like, wow, like I will never do that again. Or I feel really bad about that. If I could change that, I totally would. And like, you can trust me that it's not going to happen again. Um, you know, you need to express some, some sort of thing that you are going to change so that that person feels heard. Your apology isn't just a one-time thing. It's like something that you're going to carry forward to change your actions in the future. So this can, person can trust you that you're not going to hurt them again. And so that comes to the fourth and final tip is to hold yourself accountable for the change. So obviously we can say, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Like, um, you know, I will never say that again, or I'm never going to bring that up at dinner again, or I'll never refer to you in that way again, or whatever it was that we did. Um, this is just an example, obviously apply it to your own situation, but holding yourself accountable for that change. So when you're going out to dinner again in future situations, you can even say to the person, maybe on the drive there, like, hey, I know the last time you went out for dinner, I said this really uncomfortable thing. I just want you to know there's no chance of me saying that again tonight. I have your back. Like, I fully acknowledge it, and I don't want you to be worried or stressed out about anything. Um, and even after the dinner, you're like, how did that go? You know, checking in with them, being like, do you feel okay with the way the conversation went tonight? You know, checking in and doing those follow-ups because to that person it's showing like, hey, they're actively thinking about the thing that they did that hurt me and they're trying to make sure it doesn't happen again and they're showing me through their actions and communicating with me that they have learned and they have changed and they don't want to do this again and that is how we rebuild trust. I think that is how an apology really lands for someone. It's not something that can just be like, you know, acknowledged for one second and then completely forgotten about. It's something that we have to show and rebuild trust over time. Um, and I think that when we apply all of those concepts together and we say sorry, sorry actually like lands, right? It's not just a simple like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Or like, you know, I'm sorry that made you feel that way. Or uh, I'm sorry you had this reaction to that. And what I said wasn't actually wrong or hurtful or mean. So yeah, those are my tips and tricks for apologizing. I do want to do a quick little disclaimer here at the end because I find oftentimes too, some people are more prone to apologizing than others. So if you're a person who feels like you're constantly having to apologize or constantly having to justify your actions, I would always recommend checking in with like a trusted friend uh, or a couple friends or people who you really admire and just running it by them like, hey, is this potentially like an unhealthy relationship? Or am I potentially like overcompensating for someone else who's manipulating me or making me feel bad? Because obviously not every single time we do something, um, it involves an apology. I think sometimes, you know, it's a fine balance. So obviously everyone's human, we all make mistakes. But if you feel like you're in a relationship where every single time you do something, you're getting like attacked by the person, I would say that's a red flag. And you know, maybe this video isn't the best one for you. Um, I would always double check with people around me to be like, hey, like, am I really out of line all these times? Or, you know, is there something that this person is, you know, using to manipulate me to get their way? So obviously, you know, doing inventory, treating people the way that you want to be treated, living true to your authentic self and your values, and being kind whenever possible. So I hope this video helped you. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because that really helps this channel. And if you think this is going to be helpful for someone else, please share it because that also really helps this channel. Okay, I'll see you for another video soon. Bye.